Hello, hello, welcome back to the island. My name is Donald, aka the Scruffy Looking Gamer. Today we're going to start open Wicked Prophecy. It's finally here. So I want to talk about uh, the chase cards for Wicked Prophecy. This is what I'm super hyped about. Uh, there is so much to chase in this set. I bought a total of 18 boxes. Um, I'm going to open at least 16 of them on camera so uh that'll be 2k a case for wicked prophecy was eight boxes so uh, a master case so i'll be opening two full master cases and um maybe more but we'll start there uh so let's talk about the chase cards so uh the box toppers this time around are going to be all full arts um and one in five of the box toppers can be the shattered glass foil which looks absolutely beautiful in person uh, but the so these are what the the box toppers are going to look like all for full arts no text um, Also new in wicked prophecy are clue cards. So the clue cards have uh, a line of cryptic text across them and uh, the supposedly the if you put there are 50 clue cards and if you put all of the if you can decipher them and put it all together it'll tell us what the actual wicked prophecy uh is which uh, i think the community has been working on figuring that out so we'll probably know that pretty soon uh foil noble rares this is not new um but there are one in 15 packs this time around so um roughly two per box in wave two of genesis they were they were one per box or yeah one per box so uh we'll roughly get two foil nobles per box this time around the cosmo foils which look really sweet uh those are one in 30 packs um they're kind of like a galaxy foiling going on those are pretty cool uh the big chase cards the in every set the cryptic text cards so um this time around we have white text green text and purple text so white and green are are not new um but the purple is this time around so the white will be one in a hundred packs the green will be one in 500 packs and the purple one in a thousand packs so uh odds are you're not going to see a purple so hopefully we do uh that's the goal here and uh, some other really sweet hits so there are three different versions of serialized cards one of a t uh, a one of 10 a one of 50 and a one of a hundred and those are like done as parallels i guess is what it's considered so where the background is is solid um i'm assuming that's what the parallel means but anyway they uh they look pretty sweet and then there are hand signed cards uh one of six on 11 different cards so there's 66 total and they are one of six hand signed uh, in Genesis. We opened up a uh, Clapton Irons frog that was hand signed by Ernesto. And uh, so this time of no different will be, except it's not just one card. There are still 66 total hand signed, but it's on 11 different cards. And these are absolutely sweet. So these are handmade art cards. They're actually painted on the card. They're not a print. It is actually hand done and there are 66 total of these i think i don't know if there's only eight i think there's more than eight um so i think there's only one of of each one there might be two of each i'm not really sure but 66 total of the hand painted cards now if we hit that that's that i'm probably going to flip my desk that's gonna be a pretty sweet pull right there uh so those are the hits that's what we're looking for in these boxes so we're going to go ahead and uh, get started with the first box in case number one of Wicked Prophecy. So this is uh, one of eight boxes in this case. And right away, you can, I, I don't know how well you can tell on here, but this box is thick. Uh, the, they changed printers for this time around. The cards um, are a lot thicker. They have a, a good bit of thickness to them. So the box ended up being a whole lot thicker. Uh, it's kind of concerning a little bit with the old cards, how they will fit, how they'll play in. 
Uh, in sleeves, it's not too noticeable, but um, it is a concern. So here we are with box topper number one. So one in five of these could be the shattered glass foil. And uh, right off the bat, shattered glass foil Davy. Just the way that the, when the light hits that, so beautiful. Those are so cool. All right. Nice box topper to start. Let's hope this is a good box. Uh, I'm going to not go through a lot of the cards. Um, that's not what we're really here to do. We're just looking for these chase cards. So uh, I'll go through these commons. We have a foil Kieran lore card. And here is a clue card. So this is, you, it's kind of hard to see on this one, but right here there is um, some foil, foiling cryptic text. And that is one of the clues that needs to be deciphered in order for us to figure out what the Wicked Prophecy is. Uh, if you're interested in knowing what these cards are, because I'm going through them pretty fast, I'm not going to read them off. Um, you can shoot me a message and I can, I'd be happy to, to go over some of the cards with you, but for this purpose, we're just looking for some of the sweet hits. Foil Krug. Regular old Camulia. I'm going to go with Camulia. It's going to be, I'm going to butcher so many names in this set. It's pretty bad. I, uh. I got most of them down for Genesis, and now I've got a whole whole new set of stuff to learn. All right. That is a Foil Noble Rare. And this card, oh, it's actually, it's a Clue card. Yeah, just barely can see the Clue there. So it is a Noble Clue. Coco, my favorite. Cannot wait to play with new Coco and old Coco combined all together. I'm not really sure where the, um, what slot the hits fall in in this. Um, if they're in maybe the lore card slot or the rare slot, I'm not really sure. But, uh, so we're going to have to make sure we go through things. Oh, oh that is... The cosmic foil. You just see the the star like galaxy foiling on that. And then a foil shifting loyalty. And a new Dukraka. And some more common. So it's I mean it's kind of weird, like in that pack we had two foils and then a noble um i i don't i don't really know the the pack outlines like how they in in genesis it was pretty it's kind of self-explanatory um pretty consistent but this one i i've opened several packs before this um just from plain sealed and stuff and it, it it's kind of random not really sure so I have a foil Galino and a Wolfric. Another doubloon. So there's supposedly, um, with the, the way the collation works, there's either a doubloon or, um, doubloon or the, uh, what's the other one called? Fire something. Invoke fire. There's either a doubloon or invoke fire in every pack, supposedly. I, I don't know if that's true. We can test that theory and see. 
but um, supposedly for random randomization, it had to work that way. I'm not really sure, but I I did read that somewhere. Uh, foil, Adriel, and uh, Kamago. So unlike and there's an invoke fire, so this one had two. Uh, so unlike in Genesis, where you were guaranteed two rares and or noble rares, um, a pack seems to not be the case this time around. So uh, it's going to be a lot harder to complete your your sets of your rares and noble rares this time around. Uh, there is an invoke fire. So so far, doubloon and invoke fire every pack we're checking out. Um, profane ritual foil this card let me tell you if this card comes around in draft take this card <laughs> this card won me so many games so many games so good and we have an orpheus and some random comments Another Invoke Fire. Still checking. All right. Kalino Foil. And another Dukraka. Some more random commons. Dubloon. Still checking out. Foil Nora. Uh, fun fact, I met uh, Connor last night. Connor is one of the creators, founders of Cryptic, along with Tanner. And uh, he had a lot of design for the Druak faction. And he based several of these um, on his children. So I believe Nora is one of those that uh, the art is uh, loosely based on some of his family. Pretty cool. Connor was a great guy. A Tabula Rasa. And random comments. Invoke Fire. Still checking out. Another foil Nora did I just get a yeah all right two foil Noras back to back and another Dreaky some random commons this card this is busted this new island uh if you if you see this Wyland come around in draft and you're not playing white you should one consider it and two take it anyway uh, if it comes around, like, I, you should be first picking that every time. That, that should, that card is gross. So gross. I didn't see a single one yesterday, uh, but Louie got two of them. And Louie, I didn't end up playing Louie, but he apparently wrecked everybody with them. As to be expected, there is a doubloon and another doubloon. So the, it seems to be this, uh, let's see, the fifth slot. Fifth slot is going to be either a doubloon or invoke fire. And then there can also be another doubloon in the pack. Uh, doubloon, if you're not familiar, doubloon says you can have 11 of them in your deck, which is normally the limit is three. So they had to put more, they're, they're more frequent than your other commons, I guess. Uh, Jamie Foil. Another Orpheus. And I believe that um, Aaron is another one of the citizens that was based on Connor's family. And yep, yeah, spot five, a doubloon. Here is a Jaterna. This is a clue card, actually. If you can see the cryptic text right there. So a Jaterna clue. 
Then we got a Muriel. And random commons. The card art is super, super good on these cards. Like the, the, I guess, quality of the, the art printed on the card comes through really well in person. They just look beautiful. And they went with this, with the full art uh, version this time around. So every card is a full art. There aren't any more full art pulls which is just great. Let the art shine. Uh, I mean, you can still tell the text, tell what it does, but the, the cards just look great in your hand. Another Invoke Fire. Maelstrom Invocation Foil. And a Ru Ruishi. And random comments. My floor is going to be absolutely littered with packs by the time I'm done with 16 to 18 boxes. The balloon, another Maelstrom Invocation. That's two packs with the same foils back to back now. Okay. Another Dukraka. I think that was a Dukraka number three for this box at least. Kind of crazy. A lot of nobles coming out of this box, but the same nobles. Uh, with this new printer, the, the collation issues from the first, from, from Genesis, are supposed to be better. Um, not sure that I'm seeing that yet. We've got you know, undead, 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 back to back. In Genesis, you could open up a pack and it was all the entire same faction um not entirely convinced that we're doing better but we'll see doubloon again and foil doubloon gilia fun fact uh in early versions of this card we reported it as chilia and apparently that was completely just a misprint. And it was always supposed to be Gilia. So. Random commons. Another invoke fire. Foil Roscoe. Helen. Random comments. Another Invoke Fire. Foil Muriel. This card looks super sweet. I love the art on this card. The water coming around. So cool. Unified by the code. And commons. Another doubloon. Sunken Relic Foil, Ascension, this could be a super sweet card and constructed for the Ascendants, and Random Cuts. Invoke Fire, Foil uh, Manute, Manute, mm, Manute's probably more accurate than Manute, and another Dukraka, seriously, four now, I think, what's going on, what is going on, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a printer, I have no experience with printing, 
I don't know anything about it, but it seems like collation is a big issue with printers. Another doubloon, foil beaky. Another Orpheus, I think that's at least Orpheus number three for this box, if not more. Balloon. Ooh, a clue, Wolfric. And oh, back to back. Camago lore, Camago card. Also, it's. I mean, this is fresh out of the pack, and there's already damage on the corners. If this was a, there's definitely edging damage on. So if this was a, if that was a like really sweet pull, that'd be pretty frustrating, fresh out of the pack to be pretty damaged like that. But it happens all the time. Hey, so yeah, oh, invoke fire. Never mind. Foil Juno and a Zellini. Another Invoke Fire, Frigid Requiem Foil. And a Fredonia. These packs are pretty easy to open at least. Don't have to uh, struggle through them. And But they're not as easy as uh, Wave 2 packs that were kind of already opened when you got them. Uh, another Invoke Fire, Oil Conroy, and another Fredonia. But easy to open packs. I'm on board with that. No need to struggle to have to get my pack open. Another doubloon, and all of these have had some printer line marks on them, I've noticed. You, uh, there's no way you're going to pick that up on the camera, I don't think, but every one of these have had printer lines. Katori foil. And a fervent invoca or incantation. Random cottons. Balloon, Oil Argus, and All Fury. Like, did his parents name him that? All Fury. Like, literally, A L L F U R Y. Like, he has all the fury. Did he? Did he choose that name after he grew up? Did his parents just know? Like, you know, this kid's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna be pretty angry. Invoke Fire, followed by Invoke Fire. Foil Clarky. I love Clarky. He's so cute. A Pluto. Random Pounds. I love this Aurora art too, by the way. She is actually, if you look at it upside down, you can see here she is a shade um, 
butt. So she's upside down in the artwork. Somebody pointed out that they thought that she was a horse. Like they thought that this was the horse's snout or something. But no, she's just upside down. So, uh, but yeah, that Aurora artwork is sweet. Invoke Fire. Maven Ritual of Autumn Foil. A Lumi. Oh, that is a clue. Yep, that is a clue. Clue text on it. So I guess all the clues aren't foil. Some of them are. So there's a chance I might have missed some. Because uh, I thought they were all foil, but I guess not. Another doubloon. Kanua foil. Exploit empathy. Speaking of clues, this is also a non foil clue. The cryptic text on there. Another invoke fire. Wicolia Ricola foil. And a wrist. The art on this card is sweet. I love this card too. All right, we're down to six packs. Man, it seems like there's. A lot more packs. Uh, there's only 36, but I just feel like there's been a lot more packs to open this time. Another doubloon. Bastion of Knowledge Clue. The cryptic text, kind of hard to see because it's right in that walkway there in the art. But And another clue. Akia. Al 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 Alika. Alika. Come on, get out of the pack. All right, another doubloon. Foil Juno. And a Charlie. This card is going to be super good and constructed. She uh, pushes the human faction pretty hard. I look forward to losing to that card. Over and over. The balloon. Reiki oil. And Amador. And random comments. Three packs to go. A doubloon. You might need some doubloons uh, after opening 18 boxes. I'm your guy. Uh, I I own I own a foil. Zokepa and random comments. Invoke fire. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Oh, shit. It's purple. Oh, my God. It is a purple cryptic text. The one in, what are those? One in a thousand packs. Holy shit. Sorry. I shouldn't cuss. Oh, my God. It's, it's beautiful. I don't even know what this card is. Uh, I don't know the names by the art. But it is, oh, where's the camera? It is a purple cryptic text. I don't know that the camera will pick that up. You might be able to see it in the power and toughness numbers there. You might be able to see the purple. But it is a purple cryptic 
text. Wow. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Hold on. Pause. Everybody, just calm down. Calm down. We're good. Everything is good. Put this baby right into here. Purple cryptic text in box one. Box one. Amazing. Woo! All right. Uh, foil ascension clue. And a Wolfric. All right, so there were only three commons at the end of that. So I guess the the riddle takes a place of one of the end commons, maybe, because I still got a ra I still got a foil. I still got a rare or noble. So that's good. I like that instead of taking place of one of the the higher rarity cards. Invoke fire, patient hibernation, foil, and a zokepa. All right, that is all of the first box. Let me just pull this up here again in case you missed it. Look at that butte. Purple, I need to figure out who she is. I don't even know. That's bad. Um, she is a Druac, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there she is, Cindir, C-Y-N-D-I-I-R. Cindir purple riddle text. Sweet. So cool. Uh, so yeah, that was box number one. Uh, I would say box one was a success. Lots of clue cards. Um, we got what one, man, this card is so damaged. This is to turn a, right out of the pack the all along the edge here is just like it is completely damaged you can see the the crack lines from where it's been folded it's terrible yeah you can see on the on the back of the card if the light will catch it right the the damage right here not good that is not good if that would have been the purple riddle it was like that i mean come on can't have that uh so yeah uh jared buddy uh i think i can hook you up with some ducracas now that you were needing also got the the cosmic foil fion those cosmic foils are sweet looking i love those so yeah that was box number one um Stay with us and we'll have more boxes to come. Until next time, we'll see you on the island.